great. So in this lesson, we're going to be uh, factoring what we call special polynomials. All right. So there will be times where you'll come across kind of like a specific uh, type of polynomial, which is uh, fairly quick to factor. All right. So let's take a look at this first example here. All right. So I want, uh, I'm trying to factor this x squared minus 9. Okay. So this may look a little bit funny to you because you'll notice that we are actually missing uh, an x term. Right? So we're missing an x term. All right, so um, so one way to think about this is it's actually equal to x squared plus zero times x, right? So zero times anything is zero, but I'm just going to add in the zero x minus nine. So if we look at this and we kind of factor it the same way we did in the previous lesson or two lessons ago, we've got two numbers that multiply to negative nine and add to zero. Uh, well, that's going to be uh, the numbers negative three and positive three, right? So if I multiply these two, two together, right? I get negative nine. If I add them together, I get zero. All right, so as a result, this is going to equal x minus three times x plus three. Um, now, this, when it's laid out this way, um, this actually has a kind of a special name to it. Uh, so this is actually called a difference of squares. All right, so you may hear me say this, difference of squares, a few times. All right, so basically what that means is that um, if you can take the square root, of the first term, and if you take the square root of the second term, there's actually a quick way to get the answer. Right? So you notice here that square root of x squared is just x. Right? Square root of 9 is 3. So um, so uh, in the brackets here, I got x minus 3 and x plus 3. Right? So a couple of things I want to just point out. And 3 is the square root of 9. That's the square root of 9 uh, as well that we have a plus and a minus. So these are opposite signs. So in general, I'm just going to give you a general formula for difference of squares, is that if I have like a squared minus b squared, well that's going to be a minus b times a plus b. Okay, so if you take the square root of the first term and the square root of the second term, and it's separated by a negative sign, all right, so that's key as well then it's going to equal a minus b times a plus b, right? Or, you know, another way to think about it is that if I have a minus b, well, that's going to equal the square root of a uh, minus the square root of b times the square root of a plus the square root of b. So uh, this is just kind of another way. These are equivalent, right? These two things here. All right, so if you can spot that, um, what you're being asked to factor is actually a difference of squares. Um, and actually, again, I need to really emphasize the word difference. So must have a minus sign. Okay, so if, if it was like x squared plus nine, then you actually can't factor it. It's impossible to factor. So it has to be separated by a minus sign. Cool. So we're going to apply this uh, to the next example here. And you can see how, you know, it, this may look overwhelming and complicated, but this actually fits the criteria that this is actually a difference of squares. All right? First thing I want to look for is that it's being separated by a minus sign, uh, which it is. I have two terms as well. I can take the square root of each, both of these. Right? Um, so as a result, uh, yeah, so I can take the square root of 9x squared y to the 6th and 25x to the 4th z to the 10th. All right, uh, this is not a typo. I purposely did a z over here and a y there. All right, so this is a difference of squares. So the, um, actually before I place anything in, let's take a look at the 9x squared y to the 6th. All right. So if I want to take the square root of this, um, well, this is going to equal 
the square root of nine, which is three. And this is the this is the other thing that I need to kind of get across is what about the square root of variables, right? So x squared, the square root of x squared. Well, square and square rooting are opposite operations. So this is if I take the square root of a number squared, it's actually just equal to the number itself. So square root of x squared is just equal to x. Right? Well, what about y to the sixth? Square root of y to the sixth is equal to actually y cubed. Right? Because if I take y cubed, square it, then I'm going to get, you know, the rule is to multiply, right? So the exponent, once you have the exponent outside of the exponent, so that's y to the sixth. So you can see that, yeah, these do actually match up. So this is going to be square root of this here is 3xy cubed. All right. So in other words, kind of like the quick rule to, to realize is that uh, basically what we want to do here, circle this and circle this, is you want to divide the exponent by 2. So basically take half the exponent. All right, so as a result, I want to factor this difference of squares. I'm going to have square root of the first term, so 3xy cubed at the beginning of both of these. And then one's going to be a negative, one's going to be a positive, and then I want to take the square root of the second one here. All right, so this one here, I'm not going to write it all out. I can take the square root of 25, which is 5. Uh, x to the fourth, the square root of that is x squared. Okay, so the way I did that is that four divided by two is two. And for the z, 10 divided by two is five. So, um, so this would be the answer. Now, just to kind of drive this point home, uh, just to check, I'm gonna, I'm going to do this part here as I'm going to check it by expanding it. All right, so I'm going to actually foil out each one of these. All right, so as a result, uh, um, what I got here, 3 times 3 is 9. x times x is x squared. y cubed times y cubed is y to the sixth. All right, now the outside terms, 3 times 5 is positive 15. Again, I have x1, x2, so that's x cubed. Um, then I have y cubed, and I actually have a z to the fifth. So those are actually separate variables, so I'm going to leave that like that. Uh, the inside terms, negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Again, x squared times x is x cubed. Uh, y cubed, and z to the fifth. And the last terms here, negative 5 times positive 5 is negative to five, um, x to the fourth, uh, z to the tenth. Now what you'll notice is that when I'm checking and expanding the outside term, when I'm or the outside terms when I multiply them, and the inside terms when I multiply them, you'll notice that they actually cancel each other out. Right? So I have plus 15 here, minus 15, but also have each one of these variables to the same power, x cubed, y cubed, z to the fifth. So what that means is when I collect these like terms, they actually cancel each other out. And as a result, what we have remaining is 9x squared y to the sixth minus 25 x to the fourth z to the tenth, which is what we started off with originally. All right, guys, so that is, yeah, so that's the difference of squares.